Hi, Simon here for your analog audio design. I promised that I would post a video where I show how to create a sequence with step 8 where only one or well, several steps are randomized and the others uh, are not randomized. To make this work I will uh, use both compare to and select to well and of course uh, step 8. Let me quickly explain this patch here. So I'm just using the scan output of step 8. Step 8 is set to cycle mode. Currently there's nothing patched into the input so it's just sampling a normalized 5 volts. This will be important in a minute. Uh, the setting of this switch does not matter. I have routed the output through the scope. This doesn't serve a lot of purpose but well I patched it this way. So I'm using this signal patched through data as a fault proactive sequence for both generate threes here. The full output of the first generate three is going into filter eight. I'm using the last output here, the bandpass filter output. And this is routed through fault six. And fault six's output is going straight into my um, well into my outboard mixer. The second generate three, I'm just using the fundamental output. It's modulating the symmetry of uh, fault six. You can hear when I remove this how it sounds. You could also use uh, an audio rate signal to modulate the other parameters. I always find it very pleasing to modulate uh, wave folders at audio rate. Let's try the fold parameter. But, well, let's patch it back into the second input here. Let's turn this down until I'm done uh, talking. So that's about it. Now the part we've all been waiting for. To randomize the steps on step 8 uh, when it's set up like this, I can use an output of orbit 3 here. It's set to audio rates, but for this patch it doesn't really matter. So let's connect this to the signal input of step 8. And well, you can hear that now every step of step 8 or every stage is random. Step 8 just samples the value that it receives from orbit 3 on every clock pulse. The last two steps are attenuated completely, so those will always send out 0 volt. But what I want is just for the first step to be random. Something like but well it's a bit silly to be uh, connecting and disconnecting this manually all the time. But what I wanted to demonstrate with this is that I actually just need a way to uh, select between the random voltage of orbit 3 and a 5 volt reference uh, voltage. And of course select 2 is the perfect uh, candidate for this. So let me connect select 2's output here. And with this attenuator or attenuverter completely to the right, SELECT2 is already sending out a 5 volt reference. With the knob here to the right, it lets through uh, 
whatever is patched into the first input here and when nothing is patched in there it takes a normalized 5 volt. So that is perfect. Now I want to switch this out with a signal coming from orbit 3. So let's connect just one of the chaos outputs of orbit 3 to the second input on select 2. And this um, input is let through when you turn this attenuverter completely to the left. Now I just need a way to uh, automate this movement and that's where the SELECT input of SELECT2 comes into play. And let's just uh, decide to only randomize the first step of this sequence. And well, I can just use the gate output of the first stage there and connect this to the SELECT input. And you can already hear that we have successfully randomized the first stage of step 8, but not the other stages. Now, maybe you want to randomize the first two stages. Well, then it's not going to work like this then you need to involve compare two as well. What you then need to do is connect one of the gate... Let me turn this back down. What you then need to do is connect one of the gate outputs to compare two, then... Well, imagine we want to randomize the first two stages, then we need something to turn on the randomization, and we also need something to turn it off on the third stage. So that's why the third stage is connected to compare two as well to make this work. And if you then look at the flip-flop output here, well, just look at the LED, you can see that this is active for all the stages except the first two. And if we then use this output to modulate select two or to switch between uh, the two inputs, you can see that something interesting happens where we have the reversed situation of what we want. if you encounter this you just need to disconnect one of the inputs temporarily until the flip-flopping is the right way around Well, and there we have it, we successfully randomized a certain number of stages on step 8. Now let me add some stuff here. Let's use delay 1 as a kick drum. The sidechain compression is uh, an external uh, outboard uh, compressor that I'm using. I'm also going to introduce a little bit of reverb and delay right now. Let's create a hi-hat as well. Let's just use mix 3 for this. And if I connect the step output of step 8 here to 
one of the CV inputs. I'll use an output of Orbit 3. Now this is a crude hi-hat. It's a hi-hat nonetheless. I also want to create some kind of rim shot or snare. So for this I'm using the fifth stage uh, gate output connected to contour 1. And then let's connect the regular output of contour 1 to the second CV input on mix 3. And then with an additional output of orbit 3 connected to the signal input. We have a rhythm section going. Now, as you know, I always like things to be a little bit uh, melodic, so let's route this sequence through a quantizer. just notice it now that flip-flopping is once again the other way around. This is because I disconnected uh, this gate output to connect it to delay 1. So now um, we have it the right way around again, but well, there is no right or wrong. You can set this up just the way you want. This will also work when I uh, shorten the sequence, but well, then uh, the kick drum and the snare will be at odd places. Well, let's try it anyway. Maybe like this. Now we have a Uranolog pseudo randomized. Waltz. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it somewhat inspiring. I also hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. See you next time.
Bye.